So today we're looking for the velvet ant or cow killer. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a flightless wasp that resembles an ant. And these guys prefer the sandy areas. There have been sightings of velvet ants here. So let's cross our fingers and hopefully get one. Oh my god guys, I think that's it. That must be a velvet ant right there. Alright, let's catch it. Oh, come here. Alright, so as you just saw, we found a velvet ant, I'm pretty sure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and free handle this ant. But what I've heard is if you rub your hands in the dirt, that should help the wasp calm down because it will, because it will sense the environment around him and it will feel familiar. So hopefully this works. I don't want to get stung. Let's get to it. Just going to rub my hands in the dirt. While it may look harmless, the pain from the velvet ant sting is a 3 on the Schmidt pain index, with 4 being the last on the index, meaning that the velvet ant is almost at the top of the most painful stings. Alright, so hopefully you can see this dude. Now this is the velvet ant, or also known as a cow killer, and these guys actually aren't guys at all. This is a female. It's usually the females who are flightless and they will go around looking for bumblebee nests to lay their eggs in. Velvet ants, they get the name velvet ant because of their little body design. If you look at the insect, they get the velvet name from all the fuzzy hairs covering the female wasps. And so far, rubbing my hand in the dirt seems like it worked. I don't see this girl trying to sting me at all. She's just walking on my hand, sort of calming down. And I'm really hoping you guys can see this because I can't really see the screen. I'm trying not to drop this little girl. And this is probably the biggest size they can get. They usually don't get much bigger than this. And the males actually can fly. They got the reputation cow killer because farmers would think that these guys would go about killing their cows. They said that if a, got, if a cow killer is stung a cow, the cow could actually die. That's actually not true. If a cow killer stings a cow, at most, the cow would just feel in pain for a couple of days and then recover. If a human got stung by this, it really depends on the person. Hopefully, I don't have to experience what that feels like today. And these guys, they actually really resemble an ant. And it's probably what helps them sneak into the bumblebee nests. Now, as this little girl is actually flicking her antenna around. Hopefully, that means she feels okay. And the one way I'm going to know if this ant has, this wasp is annoyed by me is they can actually squeak. Some species can squeak and then they, that means they are usually very annoyed or they're feeling in danger. So basically the velvet ant, these colors, the, right, the really bright red colors is a form of aposematic coloration. Which means that anything that's bright is a warning color to any predators and that would hopefully deter anything from trying to mess with this little ant. I'm only doing this to show that velvet ants aren't dangerous. They're just any other insect. They prefer to be left alone. And they'll usually leave you alone too as long as you don't pick them up. So this is kind of a risky move. All right, so I hope you enjoyed me handling that velvet ant. I tried to have the little velvet ant in frame, but it was so fast that it was really hard to control it. But thankfully, no stings. So that just proves that these guys are harmless as long as you leave them be. I'm glad to have shown you that there's nothing to fear from these velvet ants. So as long as you admire them from afar, you'll be perfectly fine. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, if I can find something like this velvet ant, imagine what you can find near you.